Hello everybody, my name is The Never Noose Everywhere on the Internet and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be checking out the newest game from indie developer David Puadu, an indie dev that really has me excited. I've played two of his previous games and really found them incredibly creative. I think the developer is extremely talented and brings us some truly unique ideas, things that you don't see that often. The first game that I played from David Puadu was last year. It's a game that was released as part of the Summer of Screams PS1 Game Jam. It was a fantastic first-person horror game with PS1-style graphics. It was a game by the name of Night Feed. It was a creepy, atmospheric, yet experimental horror game based in this silent film noir horror world, inspired by films like Nosferatu and The Cabinet of Dr. Calgary. A really interesting concept that I hadn't really seen before, taking this silent film noir horror idea and trying to translate it into a short horror game. I was incredibly impressed by the ability he had to bring such unique ideas to a game jam. For those of you who don't know, a game jam is a game that is made in a relatively short period of time. And I remember being extremely excited to see what David Puadu would come out with next. Not too long after Night Feed, David Puadu released a horror 2D game by the name of Conquistador, a 2D side-scrolling horror game where you played as a Spanish explorer in a foreign land. It was another game that had a very creative and unique style, but also had a really interesting concept behind it. I was really impressed by Conquistador. It was a short game, but it was very well optimized. It had really unique art style, interesting enemy designs, cool combat mechanics. After I played Conquistador, I went onto itch.io, left the review and rated the game, saying that I think David Puadu, the developer, should try to make another 2D side-scrolling horror game. And well, here we are. David Puadu has published a brand new game, another 2D game, and this one looks to be another horror game. I'm extremely excited to play David Puadu's latest release. Let's jump over to the game page and see what this is all about. Okay, here we are. They grow. All of you are infected. We can't save you anymore. As a dying man from a monstrous disease, enter an infested hotel and fight real-time growing and mutating enemies. Cool, that sounds cool. You only have to find two bio samples before all is consumed. You won't survive, but mankind might. Let's go check out David Puadu's newest game, They Grow. All of you are infected. We can't save you anymore. But the others might live if we have the samples. We lost them in the hotel with Team Alpha 1. If you bring them back, at least we can give you one. But please go fast. Those things, they... They grow. <laughs> Damn, I love the music already. Press spacebar or A to begin. Oh, hell yeah, look at this. So we've got a jump button, jump is space. If we go up, we can point our gun down. I'm sure we'll get explained. Press spacebar or an A button to jump. Press enter or X to shoot. So enter, so you've got to have two hands on the keyboard for this one. Oh, he, that's nice, I like that, he hangs. Hangs on the edge. Oh, goodness! Wow, that was instant kill. Oh, that was nice. Press backspace or B to kick. Backspace. There's escape or back to exit. So we need to find two samples. Oh, they are growing. Look at them. Oh, I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. There's no way I'm going up there. Oh my goodness, they insta-kill you. Uh, press enter or X to shoot. And Y to reload, was it? Oh, okay. It's, okay, we can reload with R. I probably should have read that to begin with. I really like the uh, way that this is playing already. Nice, very cool. It does make you feel like a badass when you're reloading and killing all of them. The music is getting very intense, I like it. Oh, they got me. 
Okay, those little, little creatures are very difficult. You know what I like about this? It's not like too easy even. There's a bit of a challenge involved. You know what? It would have been really cool if I could have jumped, if I could jump and shoot. That would be very cool. It doesn't look like jumping and shooting is at the moment is implemented, but David Puadu, if you are listening, please add the ability to, you know, fire off your gun while you're jumping. Not only is it badass, but it's incredibly functional. Nice. You gotta love a game that gives you a good shotgun, you know? I panicked then, there's a lot of enemies down there. Are those the bio samples that are down there? And I think I think maybe those are the bio samples. Kick the damn door open. Oh my goodness, they just instant killed me. Holy crap, that's pretty punishing, I'll be honest. The game just wants me to get good. Yikes. Okay, I just need to get better at the game, I think. Also, this might not be the best idea for me to go this way. Whoa! Oh, do you see that? They just turned- they just split up and ate me. Oh my goodness. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. No, he's chasing me! No more messing around. It's time to chew bubblegum and kill mutants. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Ah! Okay. There's a guy down here. Got him. I think the key is that we need to get to them before they grow really big. So it's gotta be real quick. Okay, so if you if you press W before you shoot, it does like a, a double buckshot. Is this a sample? Yes, we got a sample. Is that a sample? There's a sample up there. All right, we're gonna get up here. All right, easy, easy, easy pie. This is easy stuff, guys. <laughs> it's not like I died a million times before now. Yes, we have two samples. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. It's time to blow this joint. Oh, wait, can we not leave? Oh no, we can't go back the way we came. How are we meant to leave this place? Hello, what, where is the exit to the uh, hotel? Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, thanks for the samples. We can keep the, vac the vaccines research going now. Well, I think now we have to keep our side of the bargain. Just turn away and we'll do it. You have been invaluable to mankind. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> they killed me! They killed me! It's done. Number eight was successful, and we have the samples. Number eight? No, sir. Apparently he wasn't aware of the clones. He went down willingly. Yes, sir. He's stable. There are no growths like the others. Send, Alf send Team Alpha 2 for the body as soon as possible. Understood, sir. We'll prepare for the next one. Is he to be executed the same way? Understood, Team Alpha One. Over. They grow. Ooh. <laughs> Made by David Puadu for the low stakes, high rolling, I uh, make a sci-fi game jam. Music by Carl Casey. Nice, Casey at White Bat Audio. Okay, well that was They Grow by David Puadu. Again, another game that I'm incredibly impressed by. I really like the attention to detail with the enemies, like you've got to take them out when they're babies because if they, they grow, as the name suggests, they will get stronger. And it also rewards you for being fast in the game and mastering the game's mechanics. Yeah, I had a really good time with this one. Not to mention the story is very Resident Evil and a little bit like Escape from New York where you've got a bit of a time limit. It feels like you're in a, a cheesy 80s movie. There's no dialogue, but it kind of, the music and the vibe and also the style of game that it is gives me that sort of feel. Go and check out David Puadu's other games. Support an indie dev today. Show them that they're on the right track, that they're doing the right things. Go and experience what they're putting out. My name is The Nevenus, everywhere on the internet. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna do the cliche YouTube thing and say please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. 
Stay amazing. Stay unique. Always be yourself. Don't let anyone put you down. You are amazing. Bye, everybody.